What's up, everybody? Alex from Twin Gaming TV back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today, we're on our pack and play squad, and we already have a rating up to 301, and we're going to see if we can get a, a little bit higher. Last video, James Paxson had an amazing outing for us. Hopefully, we get him on the mound again, but if not, whoever we get, I'm sure we'll do fine with. Let's get into this game. This guy is Ryan Schimpf, Andrew McCutcheon, Max, Max Kepler, Chris Carter, Randall Gritchick, Adam Rosales, Austin Hedges, uh, Cuthbert. I think it's Chris Cuthbert. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Drew Smiley on the mound. We got James Paxton again. Let's hope he has another great game for us. This might be my first time playing as the away team. I don't Have we used these black jerseys in a video before? I don't think so. Maybe we have, though, man. My memory's not super great. Ah, Charlie Blackman. Oh, wait, wow. Really? I didn't think that was going to be a home run at all, baby. Let's go, Charlie Blackman. What the heck? I really didn't feel like I made good enough contact for a home run, but I'll definitely take it. And Victor Martinez, of course, following it up with the ground now. But we got a home run. We're already winning one to nothing. Aaron Judge now getting into one a little bit. That should be caught, though, in center field. Good contact, though. I'm, I'm getting a little bit better at this whole MLB The Show 16 hitting angle. However, if I start losing, I might try Zoom again because I forgot to switch it to my default camera on this account uh, after the last video, like I said I was going to. But if we get into some trouble, I'll just switch it back for this game and then maybe try and remember to default it after the game. Something that's nice about James Paxton is how hard he throws. I just had a 97, 98 mile per hour fastball. Now we're coming in with the curveball at 83 miles per hour for a relatively easy strikeout. Oh, no. Cutter catching way too much of the plate. Andrew McCutcheon sends that one out of here in a hurry. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, we might catch that. Wow, that hung up a lot more than I thought it would. Try to get the strikeout, but we ended up getting a flyout, which just it works just as well. I thought that might be another home run. I threw a cutter again to a right-handed hitter and again sent it pretty much down the middle. I keep throwing cutters to his right-handed hitters, and he keeps getting base hits, so I think... I think I'm probably not going to throw a cutter to him this at bat unless we get to two strikes. All right, we're at two strikes, so we're going to go with the cutter and actually try and get it inside. Strike three, baby. That's what I needed to do to Andrew McCutcheon. That's what I needed to do to Chris Carter, but I just couldn't. Ball four to Trevor Story. I was really hoping that curveball would hang up a little bit so I could try and smack him. But Michael Franco's up. He's, he's a pretty solid player for us. Oh, wow, that's a base hit. Okay, we're going to try to go to third, 58 speed. Try and go to second, 57 speed. Safe at third, safe at second. Uh, oh, wow, he went, he sent it home. 10 speed. He threw it home and is still able to get Yachty or Molina out at first. That was kind of embarrassing on Yachty's part. Oh, my goodness. Logan Forsythe getting into 157 speed. We're going to test that arm out in center field. It was not a good idea. He had us out by quite a bit. We still scored one run. We're up 2-1 to one now instead of being tied 1-1. One to one. I'll take it. No. Okay, there was there was two outs. I thought maybe there was one out. I forgot how many outs there were. James Paxson made a little bit of nice contact. I'd say a curveball is a pretty solid strikeout pitch. Let's go. James Paxton thinks it is, too. There we go. Change of outside. Easy peasy grounder. So I've been placing my cutter a little bit better than I did to Andrew McCutch, and we're going to see if we can keep it going. I'm going to throw a change up here. Try and get strike two, and then I want to go back to the cutter for the third strike. I want to try and strike him out on a cutter instead of a curveball this at bat. See if I can get a little bit of redemption. Let's go! Strike three on the cutter. I'm placing it a lot better now. Charlie Blackman again! Have a game, why don't you? Two at-bats, two home runs. Let's get it, Charlie. There you go. We're taking him to the chocolate factory. 
And he hit my guy! No way! Wow, what is he doing? Now Aaron Judge sends that one deep carry. Come on. No, I really wanted that to be a home run. I think we would have made a rage quit there if that was gone. I really do. Oh my goodness, I'm smacking the ball. Goodness. There we go, Aaron Judge. Not quite another home run, but it was a hard hit ball. Pretty easy base hit into the outfield. Oh, wow, his first baseman misplayed it. He's only... Oh, he's not going to get a single out. Base is loaded, no out. Are you kidding me? Full count to Trevor Story. Base is loaded. He has some serious power. What's he going to do? Oh, going the other way. That's not going to be... Oh, hey, that's going to drop. Let's go, you guys. Trevor Story sending that one into the outfield. He's going to get at least a triple. We're going to stop him at third. But base is clearing triple for him. We are up 6-1 to one now. And another guy has rage quit. Let's go, baby. The pack and play squad is killing it lately. We're slowly working our way up. We're up to 337 for our rating after making another guy rage quit in just the top of the third inning. If you guys are enjoying this pack and play squad, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Comment any ideas you have that you might want to see about this pack and play series. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.